Hi guys! Welcome back to a, another video. So for today's video, I am going to show you natural deodorant and my opinion of what works for me and what doesn't and try to help you out in that field. Let's get into it. So as you can see, I'm sitting on the floor. It's now evening time. I plan to film this in the morning, so I just quickly put this light up because I'm not now filming in front of like the windows in the house. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we're we're getting there. Slowly getting this house together. I'm gonna go through my very 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 large collection. Not very very large, but six options of natural deodorants. Why I started looking for natural deodorants? This was at least a couple years, like two years now. I'm gonna say it's because like. The articles about like aluminum leading to breast cancer um, and certain chemicals like inserting into your body, clogging your pores. It's like, but I'm not that natural that I'll go without using deodorant because that's just, it's a no. For today's video, I'm going to go through the uh, natural deodorants or aluminum free deodorants because I did try some non like natural ones, but aluminum free. So I'm going to give those a let you know my opinions about them. I have a little notepad here. <laughs> the basics are uh, like consistency, they wear and so on and so forth. Along the bottom as well, you're gonna see like little cards um, or like bubble pop-ups of what might be considered natural, cruelty-free, vegan, um, or any other little things about them. Like I know the Lip Clean is B Corp certified, which is bonus. Um, I used to work for the body shop which became B Corp certified right before I left so it's also awesome. Little things on the bottom in case you want to know what it might be vegan if you go for vegan products. Definitely what's cruelty free. Starting off strong, we're starting off with the native deodorant. I already did a video about this all on its own and I did like a week or two week uh, span of where I tried it out first and then I gave you my thoughts and opinions and how it worked throughout the week. I actually really liked it and again that's why I repurchased another one. And it would, it'd be also great for this video. I actually was, I was actually never going to do a video like this until I saw how many I actually owned. <laughs> and I was like, mm, I've tried more than enough. Let's 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 discuss. <laughs> I think the native deodorant is really nice. It's really good quality. Um, there are a couple hiccups about it and, and stuff, but I overall like it, and it is like the most popular at this moment. This is a very nice deodorant. It's uh, overall an okay consistency. It's smooth, but it has like a, just a little bit of a graininess in it. Um, nothing crazy, but overall smooth and the scents are amazing. They have such a great variety of scents. It doesn't feel too heavy. It can come off a little white or chalky when you apply too much, but overall it's a decent deodorant. When I wear this, I get about eight, eight to 10 hours of wear. From this deodorant which is pretty much about a full days of work and by the end of it i'm not smelly we're moving to tom's which as uh, says this is the number one natural deodorant so it's only right to have it follow up right behind the native deodorant and i forgot to also mention so like the tom's deodorant is very like slim and sleek and like the native is like a just slightly thicker package a little bit heavier overall i did use this a little bit more currently but um it's really nice you know like they're easy to grip i do like the tom's packaging more though because of how slim it is it just feels nice and glidey and smooth and like easy <laughs> because of the packaging it's so easy and slim I, this is like i was my purse deodorant because it, it's very easy to travel with it's thin it's light but don't put it in a hot car in the summer because this one melted. <laughs> um, this one is a great top-up deodorant and that's why it was became my purse and travel deodorant because it's uh, super smooth. Like the formula is, is just so like smooth and gel-like. I just love it. Um, and the smell is very light and fresh and yeah, I just love the smell. Because like it's a great like top up deodorant or one that you carry in your purse it's not the best for lasting all day in my opinion for me i get probably like five to six hours away and then i'm like i have to apply more and at the end of the day like if you don't you stink 
Not sure how many more scents they have of the Toms. I believe that they have men's as well. I'm not sure how many smells they have. I don't believe it's a huge variety like the Native, but this one's still really good. This, this. Now we're moving into the Schmidt. <laughs> so this is the Schmidt deodorant. This is the bergamot and lime. And the other one was coconut and vanilla, which is so good of the Native. Oh, so good. And then this one is called Beautiful Earth for the scent. And it's very limey, which is what drew me to it, is the smell. It smelled so good. The packaging, again, is nice. Looks similar to the Native, except it's just, like, a flatter finish. Top comes on and off easy, but if you also feel like top will just pop off on me someday, if that makes sense. It's, like, a great value because it's very affordable, and there's quite a few scents that they have that you can pick one that's more in your realm. So I want something a little bit different at that time that I pick this one up because usually I do, like, just, like, soft scents or even coconut or vanilla. And then this one has like the nice lime, which I love lime so much. Just been loving it like all the time recently. <laughs> and everything about this, I love like the smell and everything. The biggest downfall of this deodorant is the formula. It's just so chalky and dry and chunky. And I don't know if it was a bad one, but I believe I bought this one before and I had the same issue, threw it out and then bought it again. I believe that's the issue. Because of the formula and how chalky it is, it can be difficult to apply. It doesn't like just glide on your underarms. You have to really like put it in there and then you have the chunks and it's just, it's not ideal. But if you can get it on and don't care about the chunkiness, it lasts a good 10 hours on the body. And the scent just gently fades away, nothing crazy, you know, it smells really good and the citrus just smells fresh still on your body. So yeah, you get a good 10 hours of this one, but the formula is the biggest downfall. Next up, we're moving to Live Clean as the most popular, like, naturally, I don't even know, drugstore, beautified brand. <laughs> brand scent I got is Aloe and Cucumber, and it is very just soft, fresh. You know how aloe would smell with, like, the, like, late baby powderness in it? like with a just a hint of cucumber it's a, like overall the scent is really good but why i said like baby powder because it can come off like perfume when you're wearing it or you smell it right away you're like oh that's strong like there's a lot of scent added into it the packaging it's nice it's a little bit it's like as long as like the toms but it's like the shape of like all the other na other deodorants just a little bit skinnier the packaging as well is that the inside of the deodorant fits weird like the deodorant like shaking around it like doesn't like sit in it right and I never really dropped it so I don't I don't know it just it's weird in it it's not the smoothest deodorant to apply because it's just like it's like it's like a soap but that's what it feels like like it like it's like when you glide on like a bar of soap that's kind of what, what this feels like it's not like super slippery like a wet soap it's just like a, a, touching your finger to like a dry piece of soap it's not chalky at all so you won't get any like white underarms from applying it Probably get about eight to ten hours of wear out of it. It's pretty overall solid choice. Smells great. It smells good. To the secret aluminum free deodorant. I was skeptical when I saw this because I'm like, oh, it's a big brand trying to, you know, pull its way into a whole new market. But it's also really good that they're understanding that there's ingredients that people are looking to stay away from. So I decided to give it a try. This is probably my favorite packaging because it just like slim sleek tall and then it's like a different color than white so like i understand white symbolizes purity clean fresh light you know stuff like that like what people like but also like seeing something that's different in like the blue dark dark deep blue love it so much this one the consistency is great i love the consistency um it's very smooth and like kind of not necessarily oily but oily I believe it does this one have. So yeah, it has essential oils in it. So yeah, it's, it's like a nice, like smooth, oily consistency. It does have a tiny, tiny bit of grain in it, but it's nothing crazy. And this one does not show up white on your underarms either. The scent is really nice. I really enjoy like the smell of like the geranium and rose because that's what this one is. And it just like earthy, but like 
not it has like this little bit of a, like i don't want to say sexy smell because it is deodorant but like a sexiness for it and yeah i really like the overall smell and scent of this it says 24 hour odor protection i probably get about 12 hours 10 to 12 hours of wear um from these de this deodorant and yeah it's a solid choice if you're looking for something that's not natural or traditional to what everyone else was buying and this is a newer one on the market too so Right. Last out of these deodorants before I get into my picks is the men's natural deodorant. So this is 100% natural origins and is the Green Beaver Company deodorant. Exotic Voyage is the scent, possibly. My sister smelled to the other day and she's like, eh, eh, eh. and I was like, what? It smells really good. It has like a, like a a sweetness in it like but also like a manliness in it oh I would love this smell and this one it, like the packaging is super wide but I guess like men have wide underarms or something but that's what they want it um but it was, it's really great it's free aluminum parabens and artificial fragrances I love the smell just love it this formula again is super smooth this one formula reminds me of like the live clean but it's like not as soapy feeling and more like a balmy but a hard bomb or again no white and you don't see any white in your arms when you apply this this smell is not strong at all so that's also a bonus if you're scared about like men's products being over scented um it's not strong at all and it's a great formula and i love it and you get like 12 hours of wear and you can still smell it little no natural deodorant this is going ingredient wise which ones say that they are like 100 percent 99 percent natural majority of their ingredients are natural i would pick live clean um i'm trying to use different ones for these categories so i, I would pick live clean because um they use 99 percent natural ingredients and it lasts a great amount of time and you don't have to worry about it and the smell is nothing like super light and it's enough to cover up like, you know any smell that's on your body then we have the best smell and like smell control like smell to yeah cover up cover up that stink um it's gonna be green beaver 110 percent green beaver and last it would be my overall pick which one would i pick overall and i'm gonna have to pick native i said it because they have so much variety and like the formula is decent um you know can just don't apply too much um and, like if you're wearing a bare shirt you know doesn't care if you have white underarms um yeah i just i have to pick native i just i love everything about the company and the product the formula the packaging yeah hope you guys found something interesting in this quick little video about some natural deodorants and maybe learn something a bit from my experience from using these and yeah so uh, overall that was really do natural natural aluminum free deodorants that i've tried so if you want to try some feel free to check them out i bought them all at walmart um so yeah go head over to walmart and see what works for you Thank you guys so much, and hopefully I'll get another video up sooner than later, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!